In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria read, measure and record time using AM and PM. You can locate the questions on the MassMath.com website under Entry 3. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculator questions and then we'll move to the calculator questions. Here's the first one. The bus to college leaves at this time in the morning. The bus journey takes 20 minutes. It will then take Alex 12 minutes to walk to his classroom. What time will Alex get to his classroom? So the clock shows it is past eight o'clock. So it's eight. This is 8.30 here. So this is going to be 8.35. So that's what the time is now in the question. We've got to take into account the 20 minutes and the 12 minutes. So that is 32 minutes. So we're going to add 32 minutes to 8.35. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes to get to 9 o'clock. But we have more than 25. So if we try to take away 5 from the 2, means we've got to borrow 1 from the 3. So this becomes 12, which is 12 take away 5 gives us 7. 2 take away 2 is 0. So 7 more minutes. 5 more takes us to 5 past 9. 2 more takes us to 7 past 9. So that is the time when he arrives in the classroom. and it's in the morning, as we've seen in the question. We've got to give our answer in 12 hour clock format. So that means we've got to say this is AM. So morning AM, afternoon or evening PM. Rishi plans the times that the bands will be on stage. The last band will play for 50 minutes. It must finish at 10.30 p.m. What time must the last band start playing? Write your answer in numbers using the 12 hour clock format. So 10.30 is the time when they will finish. It will take 50 minutes, so we've got to go backwards to find the starting time. So if I go back 30 minutes, it will take me to 10 p.m. But 50 is made of 30 and 20, so I still have 20 minutes to go. So 20 minutes backwards from 10 p.m., that is going to be 9.40, because there are 60 minutes in an hour. 60 take away 20 leaves us with 40. So 9.40 p.m. Now we're moving to calculated questions. Ria wants to see a flat between 5.30 p.m. and 6 p.m. She chooses a time to see the flat. When will Ria see the flat? Tick the correct answer. So 5.30 p.m. in 24-hour format, that is going to be 17.30. So to the 5, we add 12. The 12 hours till 12 p.m., till midday. So if I add 12 now to 6, that's going to take me to 18. So we're looking for something in between 17.30 and 18. The first one, that is 16.40, so that's not right. 
then 15, 40, again that's not right. 17, 40, that is in between 17, 30 and 18, so that is correct. 5, 40, that is 5 in the morning. 18, 40, that's after 18, so can't be right. And then 6.40, that's again in the morning. So the only correct option is 17.40. Brett makes a delivery to a customer in the afternoon. So it's PM. He looks at the time on the clock. What time does Brett make the delivery? Use the correct time format. So this is 3... And the minutes got five, ten, and it's in the afternoon, so PM. Mina looks at the film times. Journey to the stars, start time six twenty PM, end time eight thirty five PM. Love in London, start time 6.35pm, end time 8.25pm. Secret in the Stone, start time 7.25pm, end time 8.55pm. They need to be out of the cinema by half past eight in the evening. So, half past eight in the evening. Which film should they watch? So, we're looking for end time to be at 8.30 or before that. So for this one, that is 8.35, which is five minutes past 8.30, so we can't pick that. 8.25 p.m., that's five minutes before 8.30, so that is an option. Looking at the last one, 8.55, that's 25 minutes past 8.30. So the only correct option is love in London. Mina and her friends get to the bus stop at quarter to three in the afternoon. So quarter to three. Quarter which is 15 minutes, to get to 3 p.m. So that is 2.45 p.m. The next bus is due in 17 minutes. What time is the next bus due? Write your answer in numbers using the 12-hour clock format. So. 15 minutes and it will be 3 p.m. But this is 17, so two more minutes. So 3, 0, 2, and we'll write p.m. after that. So two minutes past three in the afternoon. Alex wants to hand in his report. He sees this notice. Reports must be handed in between 10 past 4 and 10 to 5 in the afternoon. When can Alex hand in his report? Tick two answers. Okay, so we have six options here. 10 past 4. So that is for 10 and then 10 to 5 so 10 minutes to get to 5 o'clock that is 4.50 so both in the afternoon so p.m. 4.35 p.m. is the first option so that is in between 4.10 and 
and it's in the afternoon, so it's correct. Looking at 4.40 a.m., that's early in the morning, not in the afternoon, so not the correct option. Looking at C, 5.10 p.m., that is after 4.50, so can't be right. Looking at D, we've got 10 past 5, again, that's too late. Looking at E, that is 20 to 5. So that is 440, which is correct. And the last one, that is 5 past 10, which isn't any time between 410 and 450. So the two correct answers are A and E. Claire's flight leaves at 6.35 p.m. She has to be at the airport two hours before the flight leaves. It will take her 55 minutes to get to the airport. What is the latest time she could leave home? Write your answer in numbers using the 12-hour clock format. So the flight leaves at 6.35 p.m. And she needs to be at the airport two hours before the flight leaves. So going back two hours, that's going to be 4.35 p.m. Six take away two gives us four. And we've got to go back again by 55 minutes. Okay. So 4.35, going back 35 minutes. Let's just break this down into 35 and 20. 35 plus 20 gives us 55 minutes. So let's go back by 35 minutes first. It's going to take us to 4 p.m. And going back by 20 minutes will take us to 3.40 p.m. 60 take away 20 gives us 40, so 3.40 p.m. Alex starts work at 8.20 a.m. He works for three and a half hours and then he starts his break. At what time does Alex start his break? Write your answer in numbers using the 12-hour clock format. So, 8.20 20 a.m. Three and a half hours need to be added. So if we add three hours, eight add three gives us 11. So 11 20 a.m. We need to add now half an hour. So 30 minutes. If I add 30 to the 20, it gives me 50. So 11, 50 a.m. Kylie has lunch after her walk. She has lunch between half past one and half past two in the afternoon. Which clock shows the time she has lunch? So half past one, that is 1.30 p.m. And half past two, that is 2.30 p.m. So we're looking for something in between these two times. 1.40 a.m., that is in the morning, so not applicable. 1.35 p.m., that is after 1.30 and before 2.30. That's p.m., so it's correct. Option C is 2.25 a.m., so again in the morning, not applicable. 2.50 p.m., that is after 2.30, so again, not applicable. So the only correct option is option B. Yogurt is made in the farm dairy. It takes 7 hours and 30 minutes to make. The dairy assistant begins to make the yogurt at 8 a.m. The farmer needs to know what time the yogurt will be ready. 
What time will the dairy assistant tell her? Use a.m. or p.m. in your answer. So to 8 a.m. we need to add 7 hours and 30 minutes. If we add 4 hours, this will take us to midday, which is 12 p.m. Now we add 3 more hours. because four and three make seven. So that takes us to 3 p.m. So it's easy to add a number of hours after 12 p.m. That's the reason why I broke it down into four hours and three hours. So we get to midday and then we add the remaining number of hours. So we've got seven hours done now. We need to add 30 minutes. So, that takes us to 3.30 p.m. An apprentice starts to work for a farmer. He will work 30 hours each week. He uses this table to find out how much he should be paid each week before any deductions are made. So we've got age and hourly pay. For the ages we've got 25 and over, 21 to 24, 18 to 20, under 18 and apprentice. So that's them, the apprentice. And hourly pay, that is £4.15. pence. So they're doing 30 hours each week at 4.15. So multiplying the two numbers using a calculator, 30 times 4.15 gives us 124.5, which is 124 pounds and 50 pence. We need to ensure we add the zero at the end. So it has two digits after the decimal point. As that's how we write money. This week he has to work 30 hours. He worked 7 hours each day on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So 3 days, 7 hours each day. So 3 times 7, that is 21 hours. He worked 4 hours on Thursday. So if we do 21, add the 4 gives us 25. On Friday morning, he checks the time on the clock when he starts work. What time can he finish work on Friday? Use a.m. or p.m. in your answer. So for the week, he's already done 25 hours. He needs to do 30. So 30, take away 25, gives us 5 hours to do on Friday. This is what the time is on Friday when he starts work. So it's past six, but not yet seven. So six, thirty, thirty-five, forty. So it's six forty. If we add five hours to that, it's going to take us to six at five, which is eleven. 11.40 and this is the morning so it's going to be a.m. 11.40 a.m. and this is the end of the questions.